Hey, Redeemer. On Sunday, we talked about two disciplines that Jesus gives us regarding our finances. First, stop over accumulating. He says, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth. And second, to become generous in giving. He says, it is actually more blessed to give than to receive. And we talked about how as we practice these two disciplines, a couple things happen. We actually get to live into and live from the space of his competent and capable care for us as our good shepherd. And we also get to live into and live from our identity as his well-cared-for sheep. Well, this morning, I want to follow up and say there is another discipline that leans into these two ideas of care and identity. And that discipline is Sabbath. Sabbath is when we take one day a week to stop working, stop producing, stop consuming, and instead to lean into our freedom that we have as the people of God. When we practice Sabbath, again, we lean into that idea that I am already well cared for so that I don't need to keep working. I don't need to keep being a part of the rat race and keep producing or even continue consuming because I already have enough. I can take a day off. Also, when we participate in Sabbath and we stop producing and consuming, we actually let other people have a day off as well. They don't need to be producing for our benefit. And so we lean into the idea of our collective identity that I am made not as a beast of burden and my neighbor is made not as a beast of burden, but we are all made in God's own image. That's our identity, image bearers of God. And so we can stop consuming, we can stop producing, and we can rest just like God himself after he worked, rested. So this week, as you take a look at your budgets, I want to encourage you to maybe consider this idea of Sabbath as well as you plan. How can we as a family or how can I as an individual live into the idea that I am capably and competently cared for by a good shepherd and how I can live into and live from my identity as his well-cared-for sheep. God bless you, Redeemer. Happy Thanksgiving.